the sort of adventure to be found as a member of the Royal Australian Navy that gets into a chap and makes him feel he really has an important place in the scheme of things. The 1st of September 2020 marks the centenary of HMAS service, the REN's oldest, most preeminent and largest training establishment. Service is currently in the middle of a $466 million redevelopment creating new, exciting and world-leading training facilities for our next generation of Navy training. This plinth has been erected by the primary contractor, Len Lease, with a plaque to commemorate our centenary. We remember every officer, sailor and civilian that has served at HMAS service over the last century, forming the cornerstone to Navy capability through excellence in training here at service. During the damage control training course, this is firefighting in the first sense. Andre receiving a background of experience that will qualify. I first joined the Royal Australian Navy uh, from Brisbane in 2008. I posted back down to HMO Cerberus uh, in 2016 as an instructor at the Defence Force School of Signals. I believe it's important to celebrate and acknowledge the centenary. It gives us the opportunity to reflect on the past, to learn from it and move forward with fantastic new training capabilities. My journey started in October 1979 when I joined with about 120 other people getting off a bus at HMAS service. Back then, it was four to a room. We had beds, not bunks. The cabins were austere. The training environment was rigorous and building on your resilience and why you wanted to be here. I've had the privilege of returning to HMAS service in every rank and position from able seaman through to warrant officer. I'd encourage every young sailor to aspire to come here and instruct and develop your future leaders of tomorrow. 